Now the Apple fan frenzy is on. As I'm sure you've probably heard by now, the iPhone 10 hit stores this morning. Already, Apple stock is soaring up 45% compared to this day a year ago. And that is thanks to customers like these lining up in San Francisco and really all over the world to be first in the door when Apple stores open this morning. This video just into our newsroom shows the crowd at the flagship store in Union Square. And in Apple's own backyard in Palo Alto, it was even more of a frenzy thanks to one very special guest. ABC7 News reporter Matt Keller live at that store. Matt, tell us uh, how this was yeah. kicked off this morning. And then would you like to see Reggie, Apple CEO Tim Cook was actually here earlier when this line was a lot longer. It's getting a lot shorter. People are getting inside. Actually, a few people actually waited days to get inside and be the first ones in the Apple store this morning. They all said it was worth it. If you didn't know Apple CEO, Tim Cook was at the Palo Alto store on University Avenue this morning. Well, now you know. Kathy Jen was third in line for the iPhone 10, but it was this picture that was the real prize. I, the top of my bucket list was to get a selfie and meet Tim Cook. So, and it was well worth a two and a half day wait. Cook opened up the doors and welcomed everyone inside. Online orders and the fact iPhones have been around for a while have shortened the lines compared to years past. But the iPhone 10 has brought back some of the glamour. Apple says it's the biggest leap forward since the original iPhone. There's no hope about it, so that's going to take me a couple of days to figure out. The iPhone 10 has a super retina display, facial recognition skills, and is water and dust resistant. David Cazares was the first in line Tuesday night. It was everything I imagined it to be. It was a, it's a perfect phone. I love it. I love it. The iPhone 10 is the most expensive iPhone in history, starting at $999. David Cazares says someone offered him $5,000 to give up his seat. David wasn't sure if it was a serious offer, but either way, he was going to be the first person to get his hands on the iPhone 10. To be able to shake Tim Cook's hand, to be able to open up the doors, you know, to opening up the iPhone in, in an Apple store, you can't beat that. And if you don't want to come into the store, you can always buy online. I just checked, and the Apple website says the iPhone 10 will ship in three to four weeks. Reporting live in Palo Alto, Matt Keller, ABC 7 News. And you don't get to meet Tim Cook. Okay, Matt, thank you. Apparently, a small group of thieves decided they couldn't wait to get their hands on the new iPhone 10, and they wanted it for free. CNET is reporting that three men robbed a UPS truck parked outside San Francisco's Stonestown Apple Store yesterday. And you can see where that store is on this map. Officials say the thieves made off with 313 phones, so that's worth about $370,000. Each phone was cataloged with a description and serial number. And there is so much documentation with these phones that a sergeant assigned to the case says it was the fattest police report he's ever seen. The good news is... People who plan to pick up their pre-ordered phones at that location will still get their devices. The thieves are still on the loose.